Coach Hewitt from the Sheridan Hilltoppers last year playoff team, but you did what no one else in the state did. You beat the Kenston Bombers. So where does that set the bar as far as what this team can be this year? Well, I, I think it, it, it shows our players that the possibility for a state title isn't just a hope and a miracle. It, it's there, uh, but we have to play at a more consistent level for 15 weeks if that's to be the case. It can't be one week on, one week off. Um, and, and, and and, and we got we got to do it at home. We we got to be undefeated at home, and with our schedule, six home games, and it's critical for us to do that. Uh, last year, you overcame some amazing adversity. Kobe goes down, but you had a young quarterback step in. Tell me about the maturation process and how good it is, looking to what he is now coming back. Yeah, I mean, this time last year, you know, Max was a, a, a backup to a backup, and, and he came in, and without him, we, we don't make the playoffs. I mean, we were one and three. We were less than that. I think we had a one percent chance of making the playoffs, a one percent chance to host a home playoff game after four games. And uh, our, our kids rallied. And, uh, showed the heart that I think we return with this team. So from that standpoint, uh, I'm, I'm excited with what we have. I think our skill needs to get tougher. They're not as tough as I'd like them to be. Uh, but we're going to rely heavily on our guys up front. You lose someone who is uh, tremendous both sides of the ball with um, Johnny McKnight. But tell me about DJ Bowman and what your expectations, what he can be on both sides of the ball for you. DJ can be as good or as bad as he wants to be. He's his own biggest fan. He's his own worst enemy. I can say right now he's had three great, great days. I mean, like captain, elite-like days at camp. Uh, but he's got to maintain, and that's one of the challenges with him over the last two years. But I think he's realized his senior year and just seeing me out over the last four weeks of rain. When you were at your best, this program, you control the lines of scrimmages. It seems like both sides of the ball, you've got a lot back, size and experience. Yeah, I mean, we got to take care of the football first and foremost, but. We, we got guys that like to brawl, and, and they're physical kids, and uh, they're that way during practice. You know, it's, I think every coach out there right now, the biggest challenge is, is, is creating your culture or, or maintaining your culture without running kids into the ground or, or, or racking up a bunch of injuries. Um, you know, so I mean, with these kids, it's like you almost got to like pull them back a little bit because of how physical they are. Would you rather have it that way than oh, someone who's passive? I, I, I'd much rather have it that way. Uh, you talk about, you know, the grind. And you're looking forward to week one of West Geauga, but my goodness, tell me about the WRC. This is no breaks. No, I mean, it, it's, it's week in and week out. I think the conference this year is going to be elevated in many areas. I think there were some younger teams that, that have grown up. Um, and, and, you know, we, we never look ahead because it, it doesn't do you any good because by the time we get to week five, week six, we may be a different team health-wise. They may be a different team health-wise. But on paper, when you glance at all our teams in our conference, it, it's, it's a terrifying schedule. Where do you think you can fit into this mix as far as uh, league, your playoffs, any of that? Oh, I mean, it, it's like, again, we, we, we got our, our rear ends beat by West G last year. So our focus is on West G. Uh, they won't fear us. They don't fear us. And uh, to look anywhere other than West G, we're making mistakes. And then you bring in a Perry who's, who's loaded, and then you got an alliance as a playoff team. So we got two playoff teams in our non conference, as long as the team that, that punched us in the mouth in the fourth quarter. Um, so I, I don't know where we stand in our conference, but I know we got to take care of each one.